today as the powerful person or the pitiful person. Good example, and I didn't even focus on that. But okay. How many people have you heard say, well, I'll do that when the kids grow up. I'll do that when I get enough money. And they end up never doing anything, even at work. Well, the economy, well, let's wait till we have finished this inspection. Let's wait. No, start taking baby steps. I used to work at a college years ago and people would say, oh, I'd love to have a degree, but, you know, that's, that's going to take three or four years, maybe six, going to part time at night. And, my goodness, I'll be 52 then, or whatever. I said, how old are you going to be in six years anyway? 52. Well, why not go ahead and take baby steps and at least have something when you're 52. That's how I got started on my master's. Had a little baby. I was working full time. I thought, I don't know if I can swing this, but I need the credentials. So I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just take one class. Then I'll tell everybody I'm working on it. <laughs> and that's how I got started, one step at a time. Don't wait till everything's perfect or you're not going to do anything. Now, i got to say something to the women. Men, just close your ears up for a second. There is a, a recent book, The Confidence Code. I don't know if any of you have read it, but it's the science and art of self-assurance of what women should know. And in their research, they found that women are really bad at this, that they want everything to be perfect before they step forward. If there's an opportunity for an advancement or a, a promotion or there's another job opening, they, they go with their research that the women want to make sure that they have about 100% of the qualifications before they even apply. Men, on the other hand, would apply if they had 60% of the qualifications. They gave them both, they did another test where they gave math quizzes to both men and women. Same quiz, everybody made approximately in the same range. They asked the women, how do you think you did? Oh, I don't know, I don't think it's very good. I'm real worried about it. The men said, oh, I'm sure I did great. So when men, you can open your ears now. <laughs> women, I just want to caution you, you're losing out if you're waiting until everything's perfect to move ahead. Don't <laughs>